Hey everyone, my name is Robert and this is Contentment Channel and we live in the beautiful Intermountain West. If you're not familiar with our channel, we are a middle-aged couple going on an off-grid adventure. And we really are living off-grid right now because we have solar power and all that. But anyway, <clears throat> in this video, I'm going to share with you a sun oven recipe. <laughs> The recipe is wine braised beef short ribs and for some reason that wasn't a very popular cut of beef around here and I found some on sale for a mere $5.99 a pound which is rock bottom prices in this day and age but anyway so <clears throat> what I have here is the recipe ready to go into the Sun oven and basically, I uh, take a recipe and I modify it to fit my needs with what I have here. So I opened a bottle of cab. I added to that garlic, some bay leaves, and some uh, thyme. You're supposed to use fresh thyme and fresh herbs, but of course I didn't have any. I also put some rosemary in there, some crushed rosemary and some parsley. You put in two carrots and two celery stalks. I put in more vegetables because I like them. You're all supposed to add flour to this marinade, but I did not. So anyway, the marinade is some cab, garlic, thyme, rosemary, parsley, and you put the beef short ribs in this marinade for six hours. Okay, after I took it out of the marinade, I browned the beef short ribs and I'm about to put them in the sun oven. We'll see how it works. The sun oven, I just usually, I don't really set a timer for them. I just kind of cook things until they're done, but depending on the temperature it gets to. But we're going to try this. Each chip asked what we were having with this and I was like, oh, probably asparagus, broccoli. I said, well, we have some potatoes left. And he said, well, cook them while you're cooking the short ribs because I was going to make some mashed potatoes, so that's what I did. I cut them up, put them in some water, and I'm going to put them underneath the, uh, hmm, I'm going to put them on top, I think. Not sure. <laughs> anyway, we're going to cook these both at the same time. We'll see how it goes. Okay, I went ahead and put this in. There's my little hole. It's lined up, can't see it, but this is what we're doing today. Okay, everyone, that is the finished product. Um, I poured the remaining liquid off, made a gravy out of it, put it over the mashed potatoes. I will say this, I did not put salt in it and it's going to need it. So here we are gonna try our lovely wine braised beef short ribs. A gourmet meal made in the sun oven. In the sun oven. <laughs> I really like using the sun oven. It's really pretty convenient and doesn't heat up the shouse. Not convenient because, I don't know, I've seen some people say, set it and forget it. You know, fit, fix it to where the thing is. <clears throat> um, Just fix, put it in one yeah, spot. And, and let, let the, the sun, sun pass, pass over. over it. And then by the end of the day, it's, it's good to go. Um, I haven't been, I, I haven't really done that yet. And I don't know if it's going to work that well for us. It, I know, you know, you have to reset it every 20, 30 minutes. But again, that's part of it, I think, because if you don't, it doesn't really get very hot. It stays about 250, 300 if you don't. Well, the 250, 300, that's <laughs> slow cooker temperature. Yeah, that's true. It'd be like a... 212 is boiling. Yeah, but I don't know. I guess that's the reason why it cooks all day that way. I think it's a good oven. I, I like, like it. using it. I don't like it that it's that the reflectors are flimsy, and I don't like it that one of the focusing, uh, you know, things just came off in your hand. Yeah, it's um, got it's it's good, but it's got a little bit of it, design it, weaknesses. I mean, it, on on one hand, it's nice and light and portable. Yes. I love that. 
Yeah, on the other hand, it's mmm, kind of flimsy. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But, you know, hopefully, has, we'll, hopefully we'll get our money's worth out of it. Yeah, it hasn't blown away. I mean, we've used it a lot, really. Kind we've of. A bit. We've made some beef jerky, bread, mm -hmm. a pie, lots of, you know, two or three meals mm -hmm. out of it. <clears throat> I boiled some eggs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I like it. And, you know, I'm not trying to I'm not endorsing, you know, I'm not, I'm not being paid for this because we're not. Oh, no, they wouldn't pay us for those comments. <laughs> well, I mean, I want to be honest about it because if this is something that happens a lot, you know, you don't want to say, oh, this is a great thing. And then someone go on your recommendation and then the same thing happened to them that happened to us. And then they're like, well, I paid so much money for this. You would think that this wouldn't happen. Um, and again, it could be it got too hot. I don't know uh, because the, those things are, are glued on with uh, like a silicone glue type thing. And of course, it could get too hot. It could get too wet because inside that container, it does get really, really damp. And that could be why it, it came off. I don't know. But it was just off one day. <laughs> okay.